Today we're going to be talking about flats, sharps, and key signatures. The first musical symbol we're going to talk about is called a flat. A flat lowers the note by one half step. So what that means is, let's first look at our musical keyboard. All of the white keys at the bottom are what we're going to call natural notes, or notes with no flats or no sharps on them. When we have a note that needs to be flatted, we're going to move one key to the left, or one key lower. So for example, if here is regular B, then B natural is going to be this note right here, because we're starting at B and going one note to the left. Likewise, if here is E, and we wanted an E flat, we'd go one note to the left. Now where it gets funky is with C and F. If we have F right here, we want to play F flat, one key to the left, there's no black key, so the next key to the left would be this note right here. So F flat is the same as regular E. The same goes for C. One key to the left for C flat would be this note. So B natural and C flat are the same note. Whenever we have flats or sharps that are put at the very beginning of the song, that's called a key signature. What the composer is telling us is that those notes in the key signature are either going to be flat or sharp for the entire song. So instead of putting that accidental or that flat or sharp next to every note, they just put it at the beginning and you have to remember that it's flat or sharp all the way through the song. For flats, the, the flats have to be in a very specific order. If we are going to have only two flats, those flats can only be B and E. Okay, so for the order of flats, it's B, E, A, D, G, C, and F. And the way to remember that is you can think bead, it sounds like the word bead, and then GCF, you can think greatest common factor. So bead, GCF. So if we only have one flat, that one flat can only be B flat, and it'll be on this middle line right here. If we have two flats, the only two flats we can have is B flat and then E flat. If we have three flats, the three flats can only be B flat, E flat, and A flat. If we have four flats, the four flats are B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat, just like B E A D or bead. If we have five flats, the five flats are B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, and G flat. If there's six flats, the flats are B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, and C flat. And if the composer wants to be really mean and use all seven flats, the seven flats in the order, correct order, are B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat, and F flat. The other symbol you'll see often is called a sharp symbol. This is the opposite of a flat, where a flat lowers the note, a sharp raises the note by a half step or one key up on the piano. So looking at our piano, a flat made it go one note to the left, now a sharp is going to make it go to the right. So if we have A right here and we want to make it A sharp, we'd go one key up to the right and this note would be A sharp. Okay, if we had D right here, and we wanted to go one key up to the right, then this note would be D sharp. Just like with the flats, there's two weird notes. The E, if we wanted to make E into an E sharp, one key to the right would be this note right here. So E sharp and F are the same note. Okay, and then B is the same thing. B right here, if we want to go to the right, it would be B sharp, and that would be the same as regular C. And just like flats, there's an order of sharps if we're going to put the sharp in the key signature. If you're real observant, you probably notice that the order of sharps is the exact opposite of the order of flats. So we still have bead, but it's backwards, and we still have GCF, or greatest common factor, but now it's backwards. So if we have one sharp, that one sharp is always F then we add on the rest of the way. So again, if we have one sharp, the one sharp has to be 
F sharp, and it'll be on the top of the staff. If we have two sharps, the two sharps are going to be F sharp and C sharp. If we have three sharps, the sharps are F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. If we have four, it's F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and D sharp. Five sharps are F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, and A sharp. Six sharps is F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, and E sharp. And again, if the composer wants to be really mean and give us all seven sharps, those seven sharps would be F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, E sharp, and B sharp. One other thing to think about when we see sharps or flats in music is if we're ever going to write music with a flat or a sharp next to the note, the flat or sharp always has to go on the left hand side of the note. It can never be on the right hand side. Now the trick is, is when we say the name of the note, we always say the letter name of the note first and then the flat sharp or natural. So this note, the, the flat is on the left hand side, but we would say it as B flat. The same goes for sharps. If we ever have a note with a sharp next to it, the sharp always has to go on the left hand side. In this note, since it's on the C space, would be called C sharp. <laughs>